For my next robotics project, I'm going to be building a 3 degree of freedom planar robot. This is primarily to demonstrate both the forward and inverse kinematics. Now since this is going to be a longer arm, my previous coordinate system is going to be a little bit too small. So therefore, I'm going to have to look for a new coordinate system. So I found this uh, whiteboard on Amazon. It's listed as 12 inches by 18 inches, which I think is perfect for my application. It also has pre-drawn grids on it, and if that doesn't work out, it's reversible. So that means we could draw our own grid on the back if we need to. Now for my previous project, I held it down with four screws right here. However, for this three degree of freedom robot, I'm afraid that the extra weight is gonna be a little bit too much for the four screws to handle. So therefore I decided to add a standoff to the first motor to give it a little bit more support. The hardware for this project is pretty simple. All I have to do is add another link and another motor uh, to extend my previous project. And once it's done, all we have to do is wait for the whiteboard to come. Next, I need to drill holes for the standoff and the four screws. The grids on the whiteboard wasn't in centimeters, so I decided to make my own grid. Then I'll add the rubber pads. Now I just need to screw everything in place and the hardware for this project is complete. Okay, let's go to the software. As with the other project, I am using Python to make the calculations and the Arduino IDE to control the motors. Currently in this configuration, all the motors are at zero degrees. For forward kinematics, I am using the DH parameter method to calculate the homogeneous transformation matrices. I could input the angles that I want to write to my motors here and the final matrix will return the X and Y coordinates of the tool tip. For example, if I want to write 90 degrees to all of my motors, the tool tip should end up at an X coordinate of negative 6.9 and a Y coordinate of negative 1.6. That is right here on our board. To test this, I'll write 90 degrees to all of our motors. And sure enough, the tooltip is exactly where we expected it to be. Pretty cool, right? For inverse kinematics, I could input the desired final coordinates of the tooltip and get and return the three necessary angles to write to the motors. The inverse kinematics is a little bit trickier than the two degree of freedom manipulator because you have to specify this angle phi. This is the angle of the tooltip link with respect to the X axis. For example, let's say we want our tooltip to be at the coordinates negative 14, 3. That is right here on the whiteboard. And let's say that I want the tooltip at an orientation of 180 degrees. When I run the code, it returns the angles 97.1, 101.1, and negative 18.2. If I write this to the motor, we should end up at the desired coordinates. Notice that the tooltip is at 180 degrees with respect to the x-axis as specified. I'll go ahead and return the motors back to zero. Let's try another angle phi for the same coordinates. Let's try 140 degrees. This returns 138, 86.4, and negative 84.5. I'll write this to the motors. And sure enough, we get the expected results at the specified angle phi. If you specify an angle phi that is not possible, you will get NAN as an answer. This stands for not a number. For example, let's say we want to end up at the same coordinates, negative 14, 3, 
but with a phi of 90 degrees. If I run this, we'll get NaN as our answers. This is because it is physically impossible to reach that point with the tooltip in that orientation. Okay, well that concludes this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.